This collection of games requires no equipment at all, and we start with Dragons and Knights. You and the rest of your classmates are each going to pick your own personal dragon and your own personal knight. Don't give away who the knight and dragon are though, because it's a secret. The aim is to position yourself so that the knight is between you and the dragon, keeping you safe from its fiery rage. When the game starts, you're going to move around the area, ensuring that the knight protects you from the dragon. You'll probably be someone else's secret dragon or knight as well, which ensures that everyone in the class is moving. The outcomes here are to move around the area in a controlled and safe manner, scanning to see where your knight and dragon are, and changing speed and direction to make sure that the knight keeps you safe. In order to differentiate, ask children to travel around the area in different ways, hopping, skipping, jumping. If they're struggling, let them play with two knights, and if they're striving ahead, they can only move with side steps and backwards movements. Second on our list is laser tag. Again, you don't need equipment, just a class full of excited children. The guesser starts with their back to the rest of the class whilst they decide who the laser is. The guesser turns around and the game begins. Their challenge is to guess who the laser is, whilst the laser aims to get as many people out as possible. They do this by making eye contact with a classmate and then winking at them. They fall to the ground and crawl around the area. Once the guesser thinks they know who the laser is, they call out their name. They have just three attempts to guess who the laser is. Play several renditions of the game with different guesses and lasers each time. Outcomes could be to move around the area safely, to create a dramatic transformation once they get winked at, and to crawl like a bear on your hands and feet using coordinated movements. In order to differentiate, you can have multiple lasers, you could have saviours who move around the area bringing the transformed back to life, and the guesses are allowed to move around the main area, giving them a different vantage point. Third in line is Shadows. This is a movement and memory game. Children are going to pair up and the first person is going to create a movement, such as a jump. The second person copies that move and then adds their own movement. Back to the first player, who repeats the sequence, each time adding an extra movement for their partner to remember. Keep building the sequence with more and more complex moves and balances. The winner is the person to successfully remember and execute the sequence in the correct order. It's easier than it sounds. When the sequence is broken, simply play again from a fresh start. You can even play this in small groups or as a whole class. We allow children to explore using their body by asking them to use high and low movements, by using different parts of your body such as your arms, legs, tummy and head, and to link those movements smoothly together when you're copying the sequence. To differentiate, you could introduce a time limit in which the moves have to be completed in, ask them to use more complex movements, or play the game in time to music which links to gymnastics and dance. And we round things off with pirates. Arr! This can be played in smaller groups or as a whole class. Now you're going to be the pirate leader. As your crew moves around the area, you're going to give them commands. Climb the rope requires synchronisation, as opposite arms and legs move in tandem in a smooth motion. The focus isn't on speed, it's on coordination and controlled movements. Walk the plank sees as carefully place one foot in front of the other. Head up, eyes forward and arms out to maintain equilibrium. As the waves crash down, we balance on one leg and lean as far to the left and right as we can. Jump into a star shape, arms and legs stretched out wide to catch all of the sea's breeze. Drop to the dreaded plank position and lift one arm to scrub the deck. Scrunch your body up as tightly as possible to mimic a cannonball. Our ship's been invaded. Quickly, swap places with another member of the crew. And make a telescope by placing both hands by one eye. Keep moving safely with your new limited vision. Our outcomes aren't based on speed, they're coordinated, controlled movements as well as quick reaction time, and ask children to come to the front as well so that they can be the pirate leader and give the commands. In order to differentiate, give children easier or more complex tasks to link together, and ask children to work with a partner. You can even give them the challenge of completing the commands with just one foot touching the floor. Hi everyone, thank you for watching, I hope that you found this week's video useful. If you did find it helpful, then please like it and share it with anybody else whom you feel might benefit. And as always, subscribe so you can catch next week's video. I'll see you then.